1.2 million Indians suffer from thyroid. Here's the slightly scary part. Women are more prone unexplained weight gain, unexplained weight loss. You don't know what's going on. You're doing everything right. I just take one tablet. It becomes a part of your life. Yeah, life's better, I guess. 4.2 million Indians suffer from thyroid-related problems. In fact, it's considered the next diabetes. When I say that, I mean the thyroid could be as much of a problem in India as diabetes already is. Here's the slightly scary part. Women are more prone to thyroid problems. Welcome to Women on Top. On the show today, everything you need to know about thyroid disorders and to answer all of the questions, we have Dr. Subhash Wangnu, endocrinologist with Apollo Hospitals, and Dr. Savita Date Menon, clinical psychologist with Apollo Wellness. Thank you very much for being on the show today. You know, I want to go back to the basics, treat this as a biology lesson. When we say thyroid, what do we mean? Thyroid is a gland basically, it is in front of the neck. It has got two lobes, this sort of a two lobes right and left, which is joined by a organ called isthmus. And thyroid gland produces two important hormones. One you call the thyroxin is called T4. The other important hormone is called T3, which is the most biologically active hormone. The gland produces 80% of the T4 and only 20% of the biologically active T3. This is the basics. Okay, then the next step is really to try and understand what are the most typical thyroid disorders that you've encountered. So there are two main major groups. One side is the extreme deficiency of the thyroid hormone production by the gland. is called hypothyroidism. On the other hand, you have excess of thyroid hormone production what we call the hyperthyroidism. So let's just pause there for a moment and flesh out hyperthyroidism. Um, you know, average person, how do they know that they may have a hyperthyroidism problem? The commonest symptom the patient may look is the unexplained weight loss despite his eating well. Trembling of the hands, you may start getting tremors even while writing excess of sweating on the palms and the feet. You get extreme weakness, lethargy, tiredness. And in extreme of cases, your eyes start bulging out. Uh, you know, I think uh, in the case of Aarti Gotham, it was a whole host of these symptoms that kicked in. And that's when she realized that she had a problem. Take a look at some of the symptoms that she experienced. It was December of 2007, I think, that I found out that I had hypothyroidism. What was happening was I was losing weight constantly, I was feeling lethargic and I almost fainted while I was working. So I just got myself tested and found out that my TSH has risen to about 11, which is scary. So um, since then I've been quite regular with my medication and uh, put back on about 4 kilos. So uh, yeah, life's better I guess. Dr. Wangnu, it's very important to really understand who are the people who are at risk. The females, because they're commonly affected by the autoimmune disorder because one of the commonest cause of the hyperthyroidism is the autoimmune basis, what we call in medical terms, Graves' disease. The second, if you're having a nodule in the neck, which is hyperactive, that means that nodule is producing excess of thyroid hormone. And so the red alert goes out immediately, but uh, changing gears from the physical to the emotional you know if I suddenly lost weight for no reason Dr. Menon you can bet I'd be cheering and celebrating the fact that I've lost weight and in that euphoria I may neglect uh, the core issue mm. would that be a fairly typical response do you think? Um, in fact uh, many people who have thyroid related problems first go to a psychiatrist and a psychologist